Hello YouTube, real shooting here out at the neighborhood pond again. Last time I was out here, I came for about two hours. Zero fish. And that's pretty rare out here. That was like one of my skunks of the year. And if you don't know what the skunk is, that's when you end up with zero fish, you guys. One thing I just noticed, it's extremely cloudy today. Look at all those clouds up there. Wow. And uh, it's a little bit windy. The water temp is probably definitely cold. We don't have a lot of sunlight today. And it's about 70 degrees outside, 60 to 70. We had some movement here. I saw a blow up on the other side. It was either a blow up or a turtle. Anyways, I brought out two spinning combos. So we got the drop shot and the Ned Rig. That should definitely get us a bite on one of those because that's like a definite, you know, you're gonna catch something finesse fishing. And then I brought out a jig. Hopefully we can catch something on that. I, I've been trying the jig lately for like the past two months and I'm not getting many bites on it, but it's one of my favorite go-to lures when the water starts to really get cold. Anyways, let's get started. You guys stay tuned. I don't think I'm gonna fish the wacky rig a lot, but since we haven't tied on, why don't we start off with that and we'll just hit these little high percentage areas you know the drain pipe this drain pipe maybe the fountain now i believe last time i was out here they were not shallow you guys i could not get a bite shallow at all is there anything there come on bass come on i'm just waiting for that bite I'm probably gonna switch out to my Ned Rig on this combo. I just feel like that's gonna get us more bites from the Wacky Rig and you get to fish it a little bit faster. Come on, bass. Where are you? Oh, we scared off some bait fish right there. There we go. There we go. We got something. <laughs> oh, and he's pulling drag. He's fired up. We got him on the wacky rig. He literally just took off with that bait. The worm flew off. Look at that. Hooked on top of the mouth. He literally hooked himself. That was pretty quick. That's a good sign. We got a fast, we got a fish to bite. Wow, we got a fish. I'm trying to say we got a fish fast. We got a bass to bite pretty quickly. Pop that right out of him. On the wacky rig. Let's let him back in, bass number one. All right, you guys, we're gonna try here now. Another really good spot. Same little area, just from the other side. I feel like there has to be fish here. Oh, I went right over one of the cattails. Oh, that felt like a bite. Come on, bass, come on. Yeah, it's hard to tell if we're getting bites or we're dragging the bottom. I think we're dragging the bottom. Nothing followed it up. Let me try a little bit deeper. I feel like the fish just pushed a little bit further from the bank. I don't know. They're not as shallow as I thought they would be. Plus the water level's low. Oh, come on. That felt like a bite. That was many bites. <laughs> that's a little one. Wow, that's not even a bass. Wrong species. That fish is big. And he looks kind of weird. <laughs> By weird, I mean the coloration. I feel like normally, yeah, what's wrong with this one? He's a little dark and he's fired up. Whoa, 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 calm yourself, calm yourself. 
very slimy hooked on the side of the mouth pop that right out of you you can barely lip them put the colors on them kind of nice definitely different let's let them back in that's no bass it's like a bluegill panfish following it no way <laughs> there he goes oh man <laughs> he came out of the tunnel he came out of that tunnel he was biting that lure you guys wow What is this? Oh, it's a catfish. Nasty, nasty catfish. Gotta watch out with those. Super slimy. Yeah, you stay over there, catfish, with that super slime. We're gonna get you, don't worry. Go pop a little ned rig out of them. Let's put the catfish back in. There he goes. All right, back to the drop shot. We're still trying to catch. I guess it'd be fish number four now. Another bass at least, because now we have a bass, a catfish, and a bluegill. Come on, bass, come on. Where are you? by the fountain now what is this a fish yeah we got one we got one Fired up, hooked on top of the mouth. Wow, that hook flew off, went into my hand barely. That was a close call, you guys. <laughs> wow, fish number three. Let's let him back in. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. I still believe we can catch one over here. That was randomly casting to the fountain that we caught one. We'll take it. That was a close call. I never had that happen before. The hook flew out of the fish's mouth and then the point went into my hand. Oh, that was a hard bite, you guys. Wow. It stopped my bait completely. We got to get there again. We got to get there again. Dave's turning around. Now we're getting the bites. Oh, there's a little blow up. They're chasing bait fish. 
and my bait is right there that's the spot you want to be with that little shad imitation that little tiny fluke let make another cast i think we need to get there again come on bass come on that was a good one and towards the end of the day you have less daylight it's hard to see oh we got one we got one on the landing we got one. Oh, he wanted to rise i pulled him back down there he goes <laughs> it's a little one I don't know why they if it always feels like they're pulling so hard and it bends his rod a lot oh he's bigger than I thought actually not real big but he's better we'll take it we'll take it yes look at that that's actually over a pounder right there I knew he was gonna shake again hooked on top of the mouth popped that right out of him now I think that's bass number three and fish number six we'll take it we'll take it let's keep going let's keep going all right you guys that's going to be all for today's video if you enjoyed please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching comment rate and subscribe